hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel and this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can connect mongodb uh, with next.js so this is a very straightforward youtube uh, tutorial and hope you guys will enjoy it and without further delay let's get started so for the first thing what you have to do is you have to create a mongodb atlas connection url so you can do it you, you can do it using uh, mongodb atlas and I have provided a link to do that I have done a separate video on explaining how to create how to get a connection uh, URL from MongoDB Atlas so it's a very easy task so first of all you have to create get the uh, connection URL to your MongoDB Atlas and next uh, what you have to do is in here I will uh, show my project in here you can see first of all what you have to do is create your next js project initialize it i think you guys have already done it and then you have to create your dot env file and add your mongodb url connection string here so i have added my mongodb uh, connection url so make sure to replace this uh, password entire this uh, set of strings with your uh, correct password and uh, also you can add your uh, database name here and maybe your connection string may provide you know the right access read right access in at the end of the, your connection URL so whatsoever you have to uh, add your correct connection mongodb URL uh, inside dot env and next what you have to do is you have to create your database connection function so this is the next step you have to do you have to create the connection function uh, inside the db.js i have created in i have created a folder called lib and this lib is inside this rc folder and here i have created db.js so this is the important uh, part of this video so this connection function so what we are going to do is you know we are going to create a connection with mongodb atlas through next.js so in inside our application we may use the db connection in different routes like maybe in 100 or maybe 100 or 200 places may, we may can use it but thing is you know if we are going to create you know request a DB connection like if we are going to call this mongoose dot connect every time that we need to connect for database that will be a huge problem you know that will increase the number of hits in your uh, database and it will uh, it is not the optimized way to do it so what you have to do is once you start your application uh, you have to create only one single connection and we can use that single uh, connection string throughout your application so this is uh, that's what this code block does so you can see it has created uh, a separate property inside the global object so guys this global object is same like window object in the DOM environment if, if you are familiar with front-end front -end development you guys may have know there's a window object in the DOM like we can access it like window dot we can access it inside the developer uh, console in Google Chrome or in your web browser this is a similar kind of thing a global object this can be accessed from anywhere in your application so in here we have created a property called mongoose and in that global environment we are going to store our connection and the promise connection promise so what happens is so when we call this db uh, connect function it checks whether we have already created the mongoose connection so if we have already created a mongoose connection we just return that mongoose connection and use it in our application and if it's not on that case only we are going to call this mongoose.connect and uh, create a mo new mongoose connection to database uh, mongodb atlas and then we are going to save this uh, promise in this predefined our uh, mongoose property so you can create you can name any name for this uh, property instead of mongoose 
so and also I have added uh, two console logs to see whether it's working so this is the core part of the application and you can use this con DB connection inside your uh, even you can use it in front end but I'm not recommended it and also you can use it in your API route so any place in your next JS application and don't worry guys I'll be sharing this code with you so and I just want to explain how it's going so I'm not going to waste your time uh, typing this function uh, letter by letter but I would like to take this time to explain you uh, what's happening inside the code so in here you can see after this is this is a promise so uh, after the connection is successful we are going to uh, return this promise uh, and I have created an API route here called checkdb so this is how the API routes are done uh, in new next 13 application so inside the API folder we are going to create a f another folder called checkdb and inside checkdb uh, we have a route.ts so in here we are calling the await dot uh, await db connect so we are going to call this function and we can see whether the function is established because i have added console logs in the db.js and apart from that you know you can use this connection and create a uh, create a new entry retrieve data you can do almost anything so that's not the focus of this uh, video but I have another uh, video which I'm going to extend this uh, implementation to use the mongoose you know get functions post functions and stuff with TypeScript so you guys can stay tuned uh, for that videos as well and before uh, quitting this application uh, let's see how this is working so I'm going to do npm run dev let's see I'm going to go localhost 13 api check db let's see oh I couldn't update the db.js not env in here I will update this URL uh, of the screen record okay and you know after uh, updating .env we have to restart our uh, application so that's a must if you are updating your .env file you have to restart your server so here yeah connected you can see newly connected here so if I go to where's that uh, inside the lib in the db.js so it's newly connected this one is triggered let's try a few more times refreshing and you can see now it's connection from the previous so this is what you need to do when connecting a mongodb uh, uh, MongoDB Atlas or any database connection uh, using Next.js. So this is it. Like uh, now, it's not creating another. You know, it's it's not requesting another MongoDB.connect your MongoDB Atlas. It's using the previous already connected MongoDB connection. So that's what I wanted to uh, show you guys and. I'll share this code repository with you guys so you can you know listen the things what you need and you can continue with the uh, application so thank you very much guys and I hope you guys could subscribe to my youtube channel it's a great support and have a nice day and let's meet again with another this kind of very straightforward youtube video thank you guys have a nice day